to change the shell prompt in your Ubuntu desktop or a similar Unix or Linux distribution, first we need to go to the terminal. So to open terminal, you click on the left right hand side and type terminal so from that. And now you can see currently we have the username as research and the computer name is research VM. We plan to change this prompt. To do so, we need to modify a file called bashrc. You can find the file using this command ls-a and you can see this is the file we are going to modify. Now all the commands that I use in this video are going to be included in the description. So you can directly copy and paste those commands if you need. So let's go ahead and open that bashrc file. I'm going to use a text editor called gedit and then the file. You can also use nano or vim for instead of gedit. So let's open this. Now this is the bashrc file and to change the prompt we have to modify these two variables ps1 in line 60 and 63. It could be a little bit different in your machine but just find out where you have these lines. So color prompt then ps1 and ps1 here. So first off uh, let's add a custom text to our shell. And just so you know there are many different ways to customize the shell. You can add uh, things, delete things from it, you can add timestamps, maybe add some colors, highlights, many different ways. I'll include some options, some links to the customization in the description. But for now, so let's add a custom text in this prompt. So to add that, so you have to add this after slash u. So let's maybe add custom text in this line and similarly I'm just going to copy this and also include that for the next variable so custom text here and that's all for now let's go ahead and save that close the file but hey it's not changed yet so to make the change permanent or like reflect it right now we have to use a command called source and then bash rc that means it's gonna the changes that we made is gonna be reflected right now and yeah so we have that custom text in our prompt so you can modify your prompt like so however maybe this is not uh, very nice so maybe we want to modify it to something else so let's open it again so do gedit bash rc and we're going to remove what we did and change it to something else. So let's remove that custom text from both of them. And maybe we wanna keep it simple, so just a dollar sign. So instead of removing and modifying it completely, because we don't want to lose the default value, so we are just gonna copy this uh, and just adding this hash in the beginning, it's just gonna comment that line and say no you can just copy this line and so delete everything similarly we are going to copy this line paste it and comment that previous line so in case something goes wrong we can always come back to it and i'm going to remove all the text here so right now and so maybe a dollar sign so we have changed the ps1 variable to just a dollar sign and we save it close that and do source bash rc and see now we have only a dollar sign i can clear the screen and now we only have a dollar sign any command that you type it's just going to be this you can also close the terminal and the next time you open it it's still going to be just a dollar sign and let's do one last thing so instead of a dollar sign maybe i want to add the timestamp to the bash prompt so this could be really helpful for some instances so you want to get the time in hours minutes seconds or even milliseconds so you can print that for each line 
So I'm going to keep the dollar sign there, but add an additional line at the end of the bash rc file. So the end is line 119 here. So I'm just adding another extra line to print out the timestamp. So let's do that. It's going to be export prompt command. And this is, is a pretty long command, so I'll include that exactly how you want to type it out in the description. So just copy that if you want to do that. So do echo n. And the next few characters, these are going to decide how the timestamp is going to be set. So capital H, that's for hours. And then you do minutes and uh, seconds. So after you added that line, at the very end of bash rc, you save it, close it, and see if that worked or not. Yeah, it worked. So now we have a timestamp showing us the hours, minutes, and seconds. If I try again, see we get a new timestamp every time. We could also add something like, say, here. Maybe add milliseconds. Sometimes that could be helpful. So after S, you do ampersand 3N and then save it, close it. And then do source bash RC. Now you also get milliseconds. So every time we get milliseconds here as well. If you want to go back to the initial bash prompt that you had just have to remove this line and I'm gonna just comment this so hash here and if you go back up I can just comment what we did first and remove those so, so that's why it's nice to just comment the previous one so this will take us back to the initial state so finally, I just do, we are back, see, but we still have the timestamp because we set an environment variable to do that. So to remove the timestamp, we have to close bash. And if we go come back to terminal, now we don't have the timestamp anymore. So that's all for today. I'm going to include additional customization. If you like the video, Please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Thank you.